up and down the floor. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Today we're going to be looking specifically at angles and polygons and sort of looking at some relationships that form with angles and polygons. Um, this is number four on the 47 Math MTEL for middle school and um, uh, math specialists and math teachers. This is a, a great exam if you're a special education teacher in the middle school level. Um, or if you want to be a math teacher in, and you want to start with the middle school, um, 6 through 8, um, or um, grade levels, or if you want to even go further, you'd use the 47 as a starting point, and then you'd want to push on to the 09. Um, but excellent exam for intermediate math. Um, if you're an elementary school teacher preparing for, let's say, the general curriculum math subtest and the 53 math subtest, I think all the videos on angles here would be very important to watch to understand the core concepts. But then obviously know that you can take these core concepts and you can apply them, you know, onto uh, you know, more complicated problems for these other exams. But the, the basic stuff remains the same, which is why we're going to do number four today. It says here to use the diagram below to answer the question that follows. And it gives us the diagram, the question, and some information. Um, first, pretending the quest this all this wasn't here, and I just had this high portion. I see a, uh, I see this shape. Well, what is it? It's got five sides. It's a pentagon. It looks like a pentagon. Pentagon pent means five. It's a five-sided shape. And uh, one thing I it appears is that all the sh sides are the same, right? I got this five-sided shape, and all the sides are the same. And you know, it's kind of hard, you, you may not be able to see this instantly, but if you look at the angles, all the angles also look the same. So I got this five-sided shape with all the sides and angles the same. Well, we have a name for these type of shapes, and that's where I'm going to sort of start. They're called regular polygons. Now. Uh, if we look a little closer at the question, we actually read the question, which is where we, sh we should have started to begin with, but it says the polygon shown above is regular. Then it says, what is the sum of angles x and y, these being x and y? Before we even work with the question, let's just talk about the core concept of what a, what is a polygon and what exactly does it mean to be regular. So I'm just going to enlarge this here and move this over here and keep on enlarging find a nice little space where we can talk about regular polygons you know what does it mean to be regular and better yet what does it mean to be a polygon let's start with um, let's start with uh, polygons here a three-sided regular polygon a three-sided regular polygon looks like this now three side and another word for it is a triangle right triangle and it's not just a triangle it's an equilateral triangle because when it says regular it means that all the sides and angles are equal so we have a, let me draw a four-sided regular polygon well that should be I know it's not perfect but that should be a square in a five-sided regular polygon, all it means is that all the angles and sides are the same. Now that's not drawn to scale, but you get the idea. And we could go on, we could talk about pentagons, hexagons, octagons, but this is the idea. Now a polygon, just to clarify, this is a geometric shape that's closed. So this right here is not a polygon. This right here is not a polygon, and definitely, you know, this right here is not a polygon. That kind of looks like the first one. But if a polygon is something that's closed, um, like all these right here, what's an irregular polygon? I mean, sometimes, you know, if I know what a regular polygon is, all the 
the sides are closed and all the angles and and uh, and and sides are equal. But an irregular polygon might look like something like this, or it might be, you know, a, some sort of that's not right, a scalene triangle of some sort. So basically, we have regular and um, we have regular polygons and irregular polygons. We're going to focus on regular polygons for today. Now, if you added up all the angles in this uh, in a triangle, all the interior angles, they add up to 180 degrees. This is actually really important to know. This is one of your core math concepts that everyone needs to know. The interior angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. Second thing, when we look at a, a, a square or a rectangle, or we'll just say a uh, a quadrilateral, four-sided polygon. You can think of that as being made up of two triangles. And each one of those triangles is made up of 180 degrees. So that should be 280. So a quadrilateral is made up of 360 degrees. Okay, well, well a five-sided one, a five-sided one let me use the uh, this shape right here, the larger shape. How many angles make up a the inter What's the sum of the angles of a larger, like a pentagon? Well, this is, what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide it into triangles. One, two. Well, that means that this triangle here, all the angles add up to 180. All the angles here add up. If I were to do this add up to 180, and all the angles here add up to 180. So if I add up those together, what is that? 180 times 3, multiply that out, you know, and you know what, when I do this, I do. The, I have to do like 3 times 0 is 0, 3 times 8 is what? 3 times 8 is 24, drop the 4, carry the 2, 3 times 1 is 3, times 2 is 5, and you may be like, well, why don't you just write it out? I really would prefer you write it out as you watch this video and you sort of work through it. If you're that good, if you're able to be like 180 times 3 is 540, you really don't need to watch this video. So anyways, all the angles here add up to 540. So this has just helped me understand how many, uh, what are the angles in these regular polygons and I have a strategy now if I had let's say um, an octagon. I have a strategy on how, finding out how many angles are here. I'm going to literally uh, turn this into separate triangles. I know my shape's not drawn fully. And then count up the total amount for each triangle. So in this case, an octagon, an eight-sided figure would be one, two, three, four, five, six. Six times, you know, 180. You know, and that would get me my answer, uh, which I think is like a thousand, you know, uh, what is it? 1080? Yeah. Now there are other ways to find out the interior angles of a polygon. I'm not going to do that for this video. For this video I want to give you a really practical way, a visual way to learn this. That way you can apply it when you need to. Alright. Now let's take a step back and go back to the original question. Jumping up and down the floor My hat is an animal And once there was an animal It had a sign